Hey booktube, it's Thea, and I'm here with the mid-year book freakout tag. It's been a long time since I've done a tag, and this is one that I know a lot of people really enjoy doing, and um, it's kind of fun to kind of see, you know, where the year has been and where the year's going to go, so I figured I um, would do this and kind of go through, kind of, and take a look at my reading for the year and kind of what it looks like. Um, <laughs> Coming up with a list was actually a lot harder than I anticipated. Um, most of these have multiple answers um, because that's just the kind of person I am. I can never just pick one favorite or you know, one of this or one of that. So there are a couple that have multiple answers, but I figured this tag would be a lot of fun to do. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First question is to uh, pick the best book you've read so far. This was hard for me because I have a really hard time picking like an absolute favorite. Um, I kind of just looked back at everything that I've read, you know, the things that I've rated the highest and uh, what I, out of what I rated the highest, what I enjoyed the most. I finally ended up picking Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid because I had so much fun reading this. I loved this book. Um, didn't love it as much as Evelyn Hugo, but this is a really, really close second, and so this is probably, out of everything I've read so far this year, this is probably my favorite read of the year so far. And question two is to pick the best sequel you've read so far. I have two answers for this, and I've got a novel and I've got a graphic novel. Um, so the best sequel that I've read so far for the graphic novel is Fence Volume 2 by C.S. Paquette. This series is absolutely adorable. I love it so much. And the second volume was did not disappoint. I had so much fun reading it, and um, the art style is just absolutely adorable. And it's so sweet and so innocent. It's just, just an amazing middle grade YA um, contemporary graphic novel series. It follows boys at this all boys fencing school, and it's got some queer characters, and it's got some diverse characters, and I just love this series so much. So there was no like. No question, and there was no question in my mind that this would not make my favorite sequels list. And my favorite, I'd say, novel slash novella that I read is In an Abs is In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. This is the fourth book in the Wayward Children series. This was such an amazing read. I listened to it as an audiobook in a matter of a couple hours. Um, I it's probably one of the highest books I've rated this year. I gave it four and a half stars. Absolutely loved it. An amazing sequel. So I knew that I had to put this on this list as well. Question three is a new release you haven't read but want to. This I could have picked so many books for. Um, there's so many new releases out that I haven't read because I've actually been doing a lot of like backlog reading this year, which I've loved. Um, but that makes this difficult. This it made this question very difficult. But ultimately, but ultimately, I decided on a book that I own because I don't tend to buy a lot of new releases unless I know that I'm going to like really enjoy it. And so I decided on Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman because I love the Illuminate Files. I was so excited to read this, um, and then life happens. I have no excuse as to why I haven't read this yet. Um, but I have really, really high expectations and really high hopes, so I am hoping to get to this still by the end of the year. But for question three, new release that I wanted to read but haven't yet, I picked Aurora Rising. Four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. This was another one where there was, there's like three or four books that I'm really, really looking forward to um, for the second half of the year, but, ult but ultimately I went with Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. I am so excited for this next book in the Three Dark Crown series. I have been reading, um, I reread the entire series last year and absolutely loved it. I am so excited. It comes out in September. It cannot come fast enough. Book three ended on such a cliffhanger, so I, um, but I am so excited for Five Dark Fates. That is probably like my highly, like my most anticipated read for the second half of the year. Question five is my biggest disappointment. It was really hard for me because I actually don't have a lot of books that I'm like disappointed in. Um, I ultimately, ultimately decided on The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. Um, not because it was a disappointment. I mean, it was, but I think the problem with this book is I ended up DNF, I ended up DNFing this book um, because I 
didn't, I just was not enjoying it. Um, I had really high expectations of this book going in. It's the winner of the Booker Prize. Um, it was such a cool concept that it's a retelling of the Iliad from the captive women's point of views. And I was all about some like more female driven um, historical fiction. And I love historical fiction. I haven't read a lot of it this year. So I had really high expectations going into this. Um, it was a backlog book of the month book. So there was a lot writing on this book. Um, I ended, and then I ended up DNFing it about 100 pages in um, because I just was not liking it. I uh, so this is probably my biggest disappointment. Just being, I just I didn't like it, and I do want to give it another try. Um, maybe pick it back up when I'm more in the mood. But I'd say that this is my biggest disappointment so far this year. Uh, and question, question six is your biggest surprise. Um, this one I'm actually going to go with Paper Girls Volume 3. Not because it was like a big surprise because I absolutely loved it. It's actually a big surprise because I didn't uh, love it. So it's not a disappointment because I still really, really enjoyed this novel. I ended up giving it three stars, which after Volume 2, which was four stars, and after Volume 1, which was three and a half stars, I was anticipating going into this, like, just loving it, giving it four stars. But this volume was just kind of all right. And so it kind of surprised me that I didn't love it as much as I was going to. Um, I still loved, I still really enjoyed it. It's not as disappointing as, like, Silence of the Girls. But um, it was kind of a surprise to me that I wasn't loving it as much as anticipated. So uh, I'm going to go. So for this question, I'm going with Paper Girls Volume 3. Question, question 7. Favorite new author, debut or new to you? I have a favorite new to me author, and that's going to actually be Susan Young because I've heard really great things about her, and I never picked her up. And um, I read this, absolutely loved it. Um, and I am really, really excited to read her program series as well as the second book in this series. Um, so Susan Young for me is a new favorite, new to me author. Uh, question eight is going to be fav uh, newest fictional crush. I actually, so for this question, I have two. The first one being Pilot from Again But Better. Um, even though I didn't love this book, I thought Pilot was absolutely adorable and I could see myself really like liking him and falling for him. So, uh, Pilot from Again But Better is probably one of my new favorite fictional crushes. And then I, her. And then my second book for this answer is actually Cardin from The Cruel Prince, which I was not anticipating. Um, I had pretty low expectations going into this. I wanted to really like it. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I ended up giving this like three and a half stars, but I was not anticipating liking Cardin by the end of this book, um, just because when I first started it, I didn't really like him. And then by the end, I was like, okay, I could, I could dig this boy. I could... You know, he's cute. I could see I could see myself falling for him if I was, you know, a teenager. Um, so, yeah, I actually ended up picking a pilot from Again But Better and Cardin from The Cool Prince. Question number nine is your newest favorite character. This was hard for me to actually pick because I don't tend to, like, think about, oh, this person is, like, my newest favorite character. And I have a lot of characters that I really like and a lot of characters I would, a lot of, you know, characters in books that I would recommend based on this and this. Um, but I personally don't tend to think that way when I read. So, th uh, so this question was pretty difficult, but I did end up deciding on two. The first one being Lundy from In an Absent Dream by Shauna McGuire. This is the fourth book in the Wayward series. This is, I talked about this as being one of my favorite sequels, and I really, really enjoyed Lundy. I think she's my favorite character in the series, um, and I could see myself really, you know, talking about her as a favorite character and she's really inspiring and I could see how she you know could be really inspiring for younger women and I so I decided to pick her and then I also have a second one and that is Mina from Girls with Sharp Sticks because she is a another like just really uh, badass female character who relies on knowledge and to kind of learn more about what's going on and discover what's happening within this world and she's really smart and she you know realizes that it's not okay to you know, the double standards and men and women is not okay and she becomes this like feminist character and I really really loved her and I could see her being included in you know, top feminist characters in fictional novels and like a fictional YA novel I could really get behind her as a character and I really really 
really enjoyed her character, so I picked her as one of my newest favorite characters as well. Question 10 is a book that made you cry. I, again, am going to have to put a uh, pick up Girls with Sharp Stakes for this list by Susan Young because this book is so good. It's uh, much better than I, it was definitely better than I anticipated and better than I expected it to be, but there are quite a lot of moments in this book that make me cry. There are some moments in here that make me happy cry, and there were some moments in here that definitely destroyed me, but um, I really, really enjoyed this, and this was definitely